Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is Livy in Cloud Springs and I am Alicia Armendariz. Today's video is going to be over the neighborhood of Larson Ranch and I feel like this is a great option for a lot of you that need to be close to not just one, not just two, but three military bases here in town. And then also if you are just looking for affordability, a great school district, this is also gonna be a neighborhood that I want you to consider. So if you have any questions over anything that I mentioned today, please feel free to reach out to me. I am a licensed broker here in the state of Colorado, and I would love to help you with your real estate needs or just talk to you more about the home buying and selling process and what it looks like here in Colorado. And also, if you could, hit that subscribe button and bell to get notified when I make new videos each week on everything that is Living in Colorado Springs. So the first reason that I'm gonna talk about is obviously what this video is gonna be about is Larson Ranch and its proximity to so many military bases here in town. A lot of the military bases here in town are on the southeast side. We have Fort Carson Army Base, Shriver Air Force Base, Peterson Air Force Base, and then also part of Space Force is kind of down on the southeast part of town. Larson Ranch sits just off of Mark Sheffield Road, and that used to be back in the day kind of a dirt road, but now it's turned into a very major maintained Kind of kind of frontage or back road uh, that a lot of people use from the eastern neighborhoods to get from the south end of town to the north end of town it's a great option if you don't want to use powers boulevard or if you don't want to go to the interstate and you know deal with interstate traffic so the fact that larson ranch does sit right off of mark sheffield road is just phenomenal for you like i said that need to get just out of the community and get north get south and get to any of those military bases the community is somewhat rather new. They started construction around 2007 and they kind of started like their first phase right off of Mark, Shelf Mark Sheffield Road. And then as you kind of make your way east, you're getting into new development, um, more newer homes, but still with the same builders. They have four builders out there. And for the most part, even though they do have um, different floor plans and a variety of fixtures and finishes you can pick, the majority of the homes in Larson Ranch are going to be a three to five bedroom, a two to four bathroom, and then a two to three car garage. Uh, it's not some of the builders that you would find where you can get really customized with your finishes. They're gonna have kind of your basic modern finishes and you're gonna see that run throughout the entire community. With that being said, this community is also a great option to be affordable. Every year, this is what I would consider one of our more, you know, best bang for your buck areas. You can find a lot of the homes here are selling for the lowest dollar amount per square foot. So even though these home prices are going to range from the low 300,000s up to maybe 650,000, maybe a little bit more, um, depending on the time of the year, you're still going to find that overall the amount of square footage that you're paying for is going to be one of the lowest dollar amounts here in town. So that's another reason that I really think that people should consider Larson Ranch, even if you're not military and don't need to be close to the bases for whatever reason you are just getting the most bang for your buck when you purchase one of these homes. So even if you don't need to be close to the military bases for any reason, I still would consider Larson Ranch as a good family home because of the fact that it sits in school district Whitefield number three. I know I talk about my videos, District 20 and District 12 as kind of being more popular, but Whitefield District three is still a really good school district. And I think that's because they more so focus a lot of their academics on kind of military related things. A lot of computer science, a lot of robotics, a lot of coding, um, just a lot of things of that sort. So. Whitefield District 3, you can find uh, a number of elementary schools, middle schools around the area. Within Larson Ranch, just down Fontaine Boulevard, as you make your way to the back end of the community, is going to be Grand Mountain uh, Computer and Science Integrated School. That is a pre-kindergarten through eighth grade. 
And like I said, they just focus a lot on just coding and robotics and computer science. And if you jump on the uh, school district's website, you can find so much more information than I could give you in this video. But I think that not only is good if you are from a military family and want to kind of keep with that theme of your family, but also just that's where like the world is going now, like just computers in general. So I know a lot of people who have nothing to do with the military, they still like sending their kids to those schools within Whitefield District 3 because of that emphasis on the computer science. There are a couple of junior highs and other high schools in that area. For the most part, you're probably gonna send your kids to Mesa Ridge High School. If you live in Larson Ranch or you even live in Fountain, what, Security Whitefield, some of those surrounding areas. Um, still, the entire district just has that emphasis on computer science. You don't have to have your kids participate in that stuff, but it I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, they're really big on their STEM program. The district is also really big, I should say more so the high school, on their junior ROTC program. Um, they've won like 17 national championships, their junior ROTC. So they are able to give away a lot of scholarships, a lot of scholarship money, just a lot of awards for that. Um, if that is something that you want your kids to get into, I definitely think you should look into it. They also have this mill program um, that really emphasizes on kind of trades courses uh, with manufacturing and uh, shop, I guess. Like I said, it, there's way more information on the website. But their meal program is adapted from a superintendent in the Northeast. It was phenomenal up there. Colorado superintendent down here, he brought it. It's been a phenomenal program. I hear about it in the news all the time. Um, STEM, mill, the robotics, the coding. Like I said, it's just, I think, a great option of why a lot of people who aren't involved within the military, active military, still send their kids to District 3. And the last reason that I think Larson Ranch is just a good option, whether you are military or you're not military, is you are close to Mark Sheffield, which will get you from the south end of Colorado Springs to the north end, or if you do wanna get on the interstate or you do need to get to the base, um, in between Larson Ranch and I-25, or Larson Ranch and Gate 20 of Fort Carson, you have a huge shopping center. You have actually Mesa Ridge High School along the way on that small little trip, but you also have a huge, huge shopping center that that Mesa Ridge Parkway Shopping Center, which just has, gosh, everything. Uh, fast food, restaurants, banks, um, another elementary school, another middle school, you have Lowe's, you have Kohl's, you have auto places, you have liquor stores, you have, it's just a very, very large shopping center that just kind of has everything. So whether you are coming and going to work or coming and going to pick up kiddos or just coming and going from the interstate, you're just gonna pass that shopping center quite a bit and it's just, it's an easy, quick shop, stop shop to get anything that you're gonna need. Well, there you go, you guys. There is just a little touch on Larson Ranch. Like I said, great option for those who are active military or just need to be close to the base. Great option for those who are just looking for affordability. Great option for those who are looking to just have their kiddos in a really phenomenal school district. So if you have any questions over anything that I mentioned today, please feel free to reach out to me. Like I said, I am a licensed broker here in the state of Colorado and I would love to help you through real estate needs. And if you could hit that subscribe bell, subscribe button <laughs> and bell to get notified when I make new videos each week. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.